Check this out. 1939 Chevrolet. Look at this, man. I'll tell you what now. This thing's been around for a while. Mr. Gene Wright owns this thing. This is Mr. Gene. He's a transplant, came up here from Florida. <laughs> came up here and started doing some uh, piddling around. He's building his car. This is the second time you built this car, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That, that was this one. I bought it. I thought I remember seeing it before. No, I've never driven it since I moved up here. Well, how long have you had this thing? About 30 years, 35 years. 35 years. Yeah. Uh, Y'all, Mr. Gene started out as a fiberglass man, and if you've ever been to Disney World down in Florida, probably yeah. many of those props down there you made, didn't yeah, you? That's sure did. the, the fiberglass props at uh, Disney World down in Florida. Made his living doing that for many years, and then he started doing some one-off custom fiberglass stuff, and he moved to Alabama up here, and he's made a name for himself in the hot rod community. Uh, tell us about this 39 right here, Mr. Gene. Tell us about this. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's a... Uh... It's got a V8 in it, and it's got front suspension that has been changed, and I built the rear suspension. Now this right here is out of a Mustang? That's Mustang, yeah. Yeah, uh, with a rack right. and pinion steering, yeah. steering mm -hmm. on it, and all going to have air conditioning? Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a 350 engine. Just a 350? Yeah. Yeah. I tell you what, I'm working on one right now. It's got a 350 in it, and I have had a time trying to get figure out how to run the uh, spark plug wires been been terrible. Well, Try, I had, trying to figure that out. Well, I've, I've got to mess with this. I'm gonna have to do something up to here. Yeah. And keep it away. To from keep that, it off of that. Off of that. Something. The manifolds that's on that one I'm working on right now. The, it comes out the middle and they're kind of like a ram's horn, you know. Yeah. On yeah. there and man, they're aggravating and everything. But yeah. uh, man, this is looking good, Mr. Gene. I like I this. this. This is the air conditioning. Yeah. Now, what what air conditioning kit did you go with? Uh. The one out in Texas, I've forgotten the name of it. What are they called? You remember? Vintage. Vintage? No. Vintage, vintage Air? No, Vintage Air is a good one. Yeah. Uh, a little better than one I Yeah. Let me uh, turn some light on right here so where we can see this inside yeah. a little bit. Look at this. It's got, it's going to have front seats yeah. out of a, a Tahoe. Oh yeah, and it's got some kind of now, Mr. Gene. Steering. Yeah, Mr. Gene made this dash. Everybody, yeah. uh, he's very creative. He does a lot of interior work, you know, for himself, and he just uh, makes what he wants. Yeah. When he's restoring something and makes uh, sees what he wants, he has a vision in his mind, and he makes this. And he and his wife both work doing. Uh, the upholstery and stuff and she's done the sewing and, and made the headliner i want y'all to look at this headliner yeah. very nice job on this um glad to be able to take a look at this thing see Good. see how he starts out with wood he's got the wood made for his armrest in the back and then she'll cover that yeah make that you're gonna have the seats out of what now uh turn out of Tornado. Yeah, Those will be some. Front seats are ta Tahoe. A Tahoe. Okay. I'm not gonna put the headrest on them. Okay. I'm gonna make them kind of short looking. Cluttered, cluttered up. Rewiring bit. it all. Uh, this is the second time he's built this car. He's kind of gone back and done some changes to it, making it a little bit different. A little better. Yeah. Gonna make it a lot better. Yeah. I like this. Let me turn this light back off right here. Belongs to Jared. Who's doing all your paint work and everything for you? Jeff. No, Burgess. Burgess over yeah. in Coleman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's yeah. Good boy, He's very good. Yeah, they do a lot of top end cars. Yeah. You see them go from there, then they'll go to the upholstery shop <laughs> over yeah. there around Holly Pond. We just got the uh, best interior and car at a pickup at a, at a car show last week. Nice. First place. Very good. In, yeah. Inside now. Yeah. How, how old are you, Mr. Gene? 29. 29. That's what I thought. I thought uh, you was about to turn 30. I'm 87. Yeah, 87 years old, y'all, and still in the business. He still uh, loves the cars and does the stuff uh, that most people sit around and they start watching TV when they get in their 70s. Mr. Gene Hatton, he's come right on out here to his shop, got all kinds of cool projects going on in his shop. Work every day. Work every day. Love it. 
Yeah. I like to work. Yeah, I do too. And I tell you what, if the only thing that bothers me right now is my fingers are getting twisted a little bit, that my hands hurt. Uh, you know. Bad knee. <laughs> and a bad knee. I got bone on bone on my left knee. I'm gonna walk around the backside, try to get a look at the back of it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You got your upholster in the trunk on it? Yeah, she started it. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's going. A little bit. Yeah, that's going to be neat. Yeah, all the all the inside will be copied off of that. Yeah. And this all goes um, goes up here. Goes up on the side. Yeah. Reckon y'all will have this thing done by the time the car shows all start in the spring. Yeah. I well, hope so. It'd be pretty quick. As soon as, as soon as David Burgers starts. And gets his, get you tell uh, He started about two days ago. Okay. He's had it over there every year. <laughs> well, don't but, don't feel bad. We kept a 1957 Chevrolet in our shop for 20 years. <laughs> so if he can beat that. Uh, and uh, another guy, Mr. Jim Haynes from over at Arab, he brought us a 1972 uh, Mustang convertible. Over Are you there. Some cars for other people now? Uh, no, I'm talking about years ago. I'm talking about oh. in 1989 when I got out of the Navy. Yeah. I came back home and I worked with my dad in the body shop for a while. Yeah. And I that sh that Mustang had sat in the shop for 18 years. And when I got out of the Navy, Dad says, "I want you to start on this." And so I started on that Mustang, and we finally. Before I quit working for my dad in the body shop, we finally finished that car after it had sat there. It was in the way. You know, it needed floor pans, it needed everything, and so we restored it, did it, painted it black. You know, that's how slick we got it, is that we, you know, he wanted the car painted black, and it was a lot of work, but, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, these old hot rods, though, they, they take time. You can't be in a rush. This is uh, Jared Samples. He's over here helping Mr. Gene with some of the wiring, the wiring stuff that's got to be intricate, and he's trying to help him out with these old horns right here. This is going to be louder than a Buick right here, isn't it? Yes, sir. Uh, I hope. It's long enough now. We can do this. He'll, like he'll demonstrate that thing to him. Let's see if we can ring some ears with this thing. Now, old Jared's got a cool car. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that right there, you might get the cops called on you. <laughs> you get behind somebody that's texting on their cell phone, <laughs> and you give them one of them right there. They might just go on. Came on the car in 1939. That could. That, are you kidding me? Yeah, no, this is pretty neat the way these are. Did it really come on that car? Yeah, yeah it came on it. Yeah. Lord, they this didn't. This is a factory bracket. A factory bracket and everything. They were trying to let everybody know when the train was coming, wasn't they? Right. Yeah. <laughs> and that went like that. Well, they looked like hell, but they look a lot better now. Yeah. But y'all cleaned them all up. Did you clean yeah, this all he, up? He took all that apart and painted it. Uh, Glass beat it and painted it. Man, I like that. Straightened it a, a lot of it. Very it's cool. Do dents in tube, though. <laughs> well, I, I know it's kind of in the process right now, but would y'all mind if I come back over when you get done and, and kind of look at the final the final thing? I just wanted to be sure and. and I wanted to make sure we got y'all on this cool rides thing because there's so many of the cars that you've done that I like. You know, as you've done a lot of cool rides. And when I was at the car show there for the uh, Harvest Festival, there was about three of them there that you've done. Oh, there's a lot of them, yeah. Yeah, I knew that there was, and so uh, I wanted to be sure and get over here. Well, we got best of car. And uh, you, do you know uh, Butch has a 52 Chevrolet? Butch Miner? Yeah. Yeah. I, we did his truck. Really? I helped him on yeah. all of his Yeah, you and him kind of trade stuff out. Yeah. Well, that's cool. But Butch is, he, he's good. He, he yeah. knows a lot. He knows a lot now. That guy, he's got, he's been around a long time, knows how to do a lot of stuff. That's uh, very I, cool. I lived here 20, 30 years, 25 years, and never met Butch. I don't know what. Really? Reason. Yeah. Oh, how many years have been here now? About 26 years. 26 years. Okay. I read me from, from Birmingham. Yeah. But I was in Florida for 40 years. Yeah. Is that all? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good. Um, I appreciate you letting me take the time to come over here and look at this and uh, oh, yeah. getting ready to go. Get it outside, but yeah. I'll get it outside. Oh, yeah. Well, you got a lot of other projects you got uh, going on, too. 
Yeah. That, uh, you, when you finish this one, you can move right on into the next one. Yeah, I'm going to try to. Yeah. I, I thought I'll see you how I hold up. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're still doing as good as you are. That's great. You know, my, Every afternoon I go in the house and say, why didn't I do that? You overdid it, yeah. I, I do built, that. My wife and I, we built all of this building. Together? Yeah. Yeah. Us. Yeah. Well, you I, gotta, I had to cut the floor. Yeah. Floor, right? Oh, yeah. Did it. I, Y'all, y'all put the building up. Yeah. Mm, very good. Mm -hmm. I like the way you got your storage and stuff up there on the top. I made all those trusses up there on both ends of the building. See. Yeah. You laid them out on the floor. Yeah. Had your pattern laid out. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the same way Dad did. Ready to cut them and I mm -hmm. them again. She's a hard worker. I tell you what, that lady, she's amazing. She really amazes me at what she can do. I wish she was here where I could talk to her and get her on this, but... Uh, she said earlier she wasn't going to get on this. Oh, is that what she said? Well, that's fine, yeah. Well, listen, folks, thanks for tuning in, stopping by the channel. We always appreciate it when you stop by and check out the videos that we try to do. Uh, trying to keep some good content going. we got a lot of people around here that has really cool rides. And that's what I wanted to show. I wanted to make sure I got Mr. Gene on this. Uh, I want to get uh, Jared. Jared's got a cool car. He sure he's, got, he's got a really cool car. Wait, about 30,000 miles on the original? 31,000, yeah. 31,000 miles on a... a 76 Thunderbird. 76 track, Thunderbird. Track old edition. And I'm, I'm going to get over there. I promise you I'm going to get over there. <laughs> but uh, that's all for today. Thanks for stopping by. Tune in. If you would, check out some of the other videos down in the... Uh, when the... A link comes up and uh, follow along. Thank you.